Welcome to part 4 of the audio visualization tutorial in Unity by Peerplay. In the previous part we visualized 512 samples of the audio. We cannot really work with this large number, so in this part we will convert them into 8 frequency bands. 8 numbers are way better to control for the purpose of making different game actors react to music. So let's get started. We will be making changes into audio peer class uh, that we've already worked on and we need to create our eight different frequency bands. So let's start by creating here a float array of frequency bands. I will call it frequency band is a new float array of the length of eight. And let's just for the purposes of the tutorial, let's make it also a public static float. And the next thing we need to do is we're going to create a new void. And we'll call the void uh, make frequency bands. And let's also add this to the update. Now we need to do some calculations in here to create eight different bands of the 512 samples. Uh, we need to have a good uh, divide over the lower base until the higher frequencies. So I'll start off with some comment lines uh, so we can uh, see why we are doing what we're doing. Because our song um, that we're playing has a hertz of 22,050 hertz. Um, and we have uh, 512 uh, bands, which is uh, if you divide this about 43 hertz per sample. So now we have to divide these 512 into good categories. Now we already know that we can uh, divide our audio up into about seven channels which we um, seen in the first part of this tutorial. So I will write these out. Now these are uh, seven bands and we need to make eight bands for this uh, purpose of our game so um, now we have to figure out how many of these samples we want to divide over each of the um, frequency bands that we're going to make so I will create here our eight frequency bands so we've got 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 which are eight in total and now we want to create a certain amount of samples here if I make for example two uh, I place two samples in the deep base um, then we come to a total of 86 Hertz so it's pretty much near the 60 that we've got here just a little bit above but if we place in the first one also 2 Hertz then we only get to 160 170 so we need to make this sample greater because uh, as you've seen in the spectrum of the last uh, video um, you see that it's becoming the distances become higher and higher and the values get lower so this number has to be greater so if I make this 4 2 times as high I will get to a total of 172 Hertz and if we add this to each other we will get a range of the 87 Hertz to 258 Hertz um, which is very near the 250 Hertz we've got there now if I apply the same logic to the uh, third one which is number two um, and I'll put in 8 times the 43 Hertz we will get a number of 344 which becomes a range of this 259 till 602 and 602 is also near the 500 here so by this logic the rest should also be um, a bit like that so I will skip uh, to where I fill in all these different numbers so here we've created a uh, pretty nice range of uh, different values and so you get 
two um, samples, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 and 256. And all these together added becomes a total number of 510. And we've got 512 samples, so we could say in the script to add uh, two more to the last one and we get to the 512 and then you get a samples of uh, 22,000 so it took me quite some time to really come up with this but we can now put this ID into calculations into the script now we need to create uh, two different for loops into each other in the first loop we will have to specify how many of these samples are going to be put into uh, every frequency band so in, in the second one it will read out the uh, samples from here and put the values of the samples uh, into or adds to the frequency band itself so let's do that now first we need to create a integer to count which is the current sample to add so let's say integer count is zero because we'll start at zero now let's open our for loop now we need to create uh, a script where in a for loop eight times a number will be going from 2 to 4 to 8 to 16 to 32 up to 256 so the way to do that is to use uh, mathematic dot uh, power so we can create an int that goes to a power uh, so let's start with the integer and we'll call this sample count and this integer will just only exist in this for loop um, it's an integer and we'll say mathf dot power and now we'll say we want the power of 2 to the power of its current position and this will not do the job because we have to multiply this amount to by 2 so what this says is if uh, the count here is 0 so 2 will go to the power of 0 and the result of 0 is 1 and 1 times 2 is 2 uh, so there you get the 2 so if this is 1 then the power of to the power of 1 of 2 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4 to the power of 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 uh, 16 32 up to 256 now the total of samples is 510 and we've got 512 so to get really uh, clean you don't really have to do this but you could say that if uh, it's number seven then we want to add to sample count two so sample count will be plus is two and now we've got the whole spectrum including the last two so we've got 512 now we need to use our sample count into another for loop inside this for loop to send the samples into the frequency band so let's create a for loop now before we place them into our frequency band we need to first calculate the average of the amplitude of all the uh, samples combined so let's create a new um, float here uh, we'll call this average and we'll set this to zero for every uh, time it runs it into a new uh, frequency band and we can use it to add to the average here uh, plus is the samples and we want to get the count and of course we need to um, in the next line we are going to add to the count every time so it loops through it and it goes all the way up to 512 and we want to uh, multiply this by its count plus one uh, 
So now what we got to do is to make the average divide this by the count we're in. And now we can apply the average to the frequency band. So we'll say that the frequency band uh, of, uh, of I is uh, the average. And the average will be a little bit below zero, so we'll multiply this by 10. And I've made a little typo here, because this has to be a double uh, sign. And now we can save the script and go back to Unity. And now to test this out, we will um, create uh, eight different parametric cubes. So let's place them into the scene. I'll make the skill a little bit higher. And let's duplicate this one eight times. So eight cubes. And let's place a script onto the cubes. Um, and we'll create a new script calling uh, it param cube. And to speed things up, I will just copy paste here the script I already written. So here we've got the transform.local scale. We'll set it to the audio peer dot frequency band um, to the band that we can fill in here and we'll multiply it by a skill multiplier public float and um, it has a starting skill so let's save that go over to unity and we will add this script to every one of these cubes now Every one of these cubes has a starting scale of 1, uh, a scale multiplier of, let's say, 10, and um, and the band is different in each one of these cubes, so it's 0, 1, 7. Now let's check out uh, what we got right here. As you can see, uh, it's uh, working on the mid frequencies here, and as soon as the bass is coming in, then this one will go up too. And now we've divided all these 512 cubes into eight uh, bands that we can really work with. And in the next part of the tutorial, we will create buffers to the values. So if this uh, value would be really low and the previous value would be high, and it wouldn't just go in one moment to this point, but it would smoothly fall down. And if it's higher, then it's going up again. So this will create a much better look and feel to your game and to the visualization. So thank you for watching this part of the tutorial. Uh, please don't forget to like or subscribe and I'll see you again in the next part.